Hey guys, Corey with Palmetto Battery Pros, and today we are gonna be doing a lithium conversion on this 2019 EasyGo TXT. We are gonna be installing Eco Batteries 51.2 volt, 105 amp hour. This is the Skinny, and it is made specifically for the TXT and metal frame battery trays. Included in the installation bundle is the 15 amp onboard charger. Eco does provide the 120 volt charge receptacle replacement and it utilizes the Quick Connect, which is a very secure and weatherproof connection. This is the LCD screen with a dash mounted voltage meter. This is the mounting bracket and hardware for the meter. Here is the communication wiring harness that will connect the battery to the voltage meter. The last item in the installation bundle is the 30 amp voltage reducer. So this takes the voltage from 51, 52 volts and converts it to 12 volts for the lights and accessories. So once you have your lead acid batteries removed, go ahead and completely clean out your battery tray and battery compartment. And if you have rust and corrosion on your battery tray like this one did, you can wire brush it down as clean as you can and treat it with Rust-Oleum. So we'll go ahead and replace the charge receptacle first, get that out of the way. Um, you have the gray, black, and red that's gonna go to your existing, your lead acid batteries. And then you have the small blue to orange, which is your reed switch bypass. And this needs to be energized to, for cart operation. So what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna cut it about midway. We're gonna put an eyelet on it and put it to the positive post on the battery. So on the back of the charge receptacle, you can remove these three screws in the back here. Then the charge receptacle will pull right out from the, the mounting bracket. And at this point, you can go ahead and disregard the old charge receptacle and wires. For the front of the charge receptacle, these are rivets that mount it to the cart. So you're gonna to need to get a small uh, drill bit and drill those rivets out and you can remove the plate. Using your 10 millimeter socket and a Phillips head screwdriver, go ahead and tighten your charge receptacle hardware down. I went ahead and mounted the charger and the 12 volt reducer up here on the frame. So you can mount your charger and reducer anywhere in the cart. You can mount it down in the frame and put something down there. Um, you can mount it over here in this space. I like to elevate mine, so I will mount them up on the frame of the cart here. And I use the self-tapping screws provided. And I will keep my charger uh, input wire over here close to the receptacle. And I put my charger output wire on this side because this is where I'm gonna um, have the terminals of the battery. So once you have your 12 volt reducer and your charger mounted, you can go ahead and drop the battery in. As you can see, the center hole in the battery is lined up with an existing hole that's in the tray. So you don't even need to drill any holes in your tray to mount this battery. Some people like to drill the holes in the corners, but just keep in mind that those are welds and it could compromise the strength of the tray. And you can see this is just a, a really solid mount. It's not going anywhere. Go ahead and plug up your charger input wire to your charge receptacle. Go ahead and get your voltage meter wiring harness and plug it into the communication port. And you'll notice that there's two extra ports right here. Uh, these are CAN bus ports and you don't really need to worry about them right now. So just tuck them away safely down in the bottom and go ahead and run the rest of the voltage meter wiring harness down through your battery tray. Plug your 12 volt reducer wiring harness up and you can run along the battery frame, securing it there and get it over here to the terminal side of the battery. Okay, the 12 volt reducer wiring harness You'll see that the black and yellow have eyelets on them. These are the 48 volt input, and these are gonna to go to the main positive and negative terminal of the battery. Next, you have the slightly bigger gauge uh, black and red. This is your 12 volt supply. This is what you'll run to your lights or your fuse block. And the last wire in the harness is the long orange uh, with the eyelet on it. We are gonna run the orange wire to the key switch on the cold side. So when you turn your cart on, your 12 volt supply will activate. Next, I'm gonna take the long orange and I'm gonna run it with the voltage meter wiring harness up to the dash. And you can run it down the frame of the cart with this existing wiring harness. 
and then keep following and run it back up into the dash. Remove the five Phillips head screws and the dash panel here, and you can pull this whole center cubby out. All right, go ahead and pull your wiring harnesses through up into the dash. Okay, here's our long orange, and we posty tapped it to the cold side of the key switch. So Eco provides these vertical mounting brackets, and I highly recommend getting them if you have this style golf cart. We drilled a hole here in the side, so we ran our voltage meter wiring harness through, and now we're gonna go ahead and plug them in to the back of the voltage meter, and you're not gonna get them wrong. It's a four and a six pin, and they only go one way. Have any corrosion on your terminals go ahead and address that now with the wire brush using the provided m8 bolts we're going to go ahead and put everything to our positive post so first we're going to go smallest to biggest biggest touch in the post first thing is our reed switch bypass next is the 48 volt supply for the eco 12 volt reducer then we have the positive from our onboard charger and last is our main positive cable that runs to our solenoid. Down your terminal hardware, nice and tight, no wiggle room. Go ahead and slide your terminal protector into place. All right, we're gonna do the same thing for the negative side, smallest to biggest, biggest touch in the post. First is the Eco 12 volt reducer negative, negative from our onboard charger. And last is our main negative that runs to our controller. Now we're gonna go ahead and address our 12 volt accessories. So this is the positive and negative that came from our 12 volt reducer. I am going to extend the positive and negative wires all the way down to our newly installed fuse block. Okay, we finished with the fuse block and you can see on the top and bottom is our 12 volt supply, positive and negative. And then here on the sides, we have our lights hooked up. So our lights are getting 12 volts and the customer wants to add some 12 volt accessories down the road so he can just put the eyelets right to the fuse block and he doesn't have to cut or crimp any wire. Now we're gonna go ahead and make sure we have cart operation. First thing you're gonna wanna do is turn your battery on by pushing the on off button, it will illuminate. Put your cart and run. The voltage meter will illuminate. Put your cart in the on position. We'll go ahead and test our lights our lights do work next we'll put it in forward and we will lightly hit the pedal great so we have card operation at this point we'll go ahead and max charge the battery by running our heavy duty extension cord to the charge receptacle the charger will kick on and the fan will run and it will shut off once this battery is max charged Okay guys, that's it for the installation video on the 51.2 volt, 105 amp hour lithium battery by Eco. I hope this video helped you out and answered any questions you may have. If you have additional questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will answer them as soon as I can. Also, if I got anything wrong or if there's an easier way to do something, please leave that information in the comments below as well. We're not know-it-alls and we're constantly learning, so we appreciate that feedback. We are an authorized dealer for Eco Battery, so if you'd like to purchase one of these batteries, please give us a call during normal business hours, Monday through Friday, nine to five. You can also shop online at palmettobatterypros.com. As always, hit that like and subscribe button. We have more lithium unboxing and installation videos coming out on different battery products and different types of applications. So yeah, we look forward to seeing you next time. We appreciate you watching. Thanks, y'all.